top six best smart TVs in 2023. Hello guys, today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best smart TVs in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review, and more. If you wanna see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below at like, comment, share this video, subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Number six, Samsung S90 COLED. The best smart television we've tested is the Samsung S90 COLED. It's an amazing TV with a great selection of smart features, including support for Bixby and Alexa voice assistants. This means you can choose your preferred platform and spend less time searching for content and more time enjoying your new TV. If you don't want to use voice assistants, it's well-organized ties and smart interface is fast and easy to use. It has a huge selection of streaming apps so you can quickly find your favorite shows. Like all all leads, a TV looks great in a dark room, but it's no slouch in a bright room either. It easily gets bright enough to overcome glare and bright lights, and its reflection handling is fantastic. Of course, you get perfect black levels when using it in a dark room thanks to its near-infinite contrast ratio, and there's no distracting ballooning around bright objects in dark scenes. 2022 Samsung S95 B OLED is also a great option. Although the S90C is a bit brighter, has official 4K at 144Hz support for PC gamers and comes in 77 and 83 inch sizes. The Samsung S90C is a high-end 4K TV in Samsung's 2023 lineup, sitting below the Samsung S95C OLED. It has a key D OLED panel, promising some of the brightest and most vibrant colors available on a TV. It has Samsung's laser slim design, neural quantum processor, 4K AI, upscaling with quantum ATR OLED technology, and motion accelerator Turbo Pro for enhanced motion processing. This TV officially supports 4K at 144Hz, just like the S95C, so it's a gaming powerhouse, especially with its full HDMI 2.1 bandwidth support on all four HDMI ports. Like other Samsung TVs, it uses Samsung's proprietary Tizen OS smart interface, which offers a large selection of apps and games. It's available in four sizes, 55-inch, 65-inch, 77-inch, and a WOLED equipped 83-inch size. Number five, Sony N95KOLED. Although the Samsung S90 COLED is the best choice for most users, if you want the best home theater experience possible, Consider the more expensive Sony N95K OLED. It delivers similar picture quality to the Samsung, using a similar KD OLED panel. Still, the Sony TV is more accurate overall and has better image processing capabilities, so it displays scenes exactly as its creator intended. It supports advanced audio and video formats like Dolby Vision HDR, a more widely supported format than Samsung's competing HDR10+. Overall, you'll get the best ATR experience possible for more content with the Sony than you would with the Samsung. The Sony is also no slouch when it comes to smart features. It runs the built-in Google TV interface, which is slower than Samsung's Tizen OS, but has more features and a wider selection of streaming apps. It supports hands-free voice control, so you can find your favorite content without the remote or use the voice assistant to control your other devices. Of course, the N95K is very expensive, so if you want a Sony OLED specifically for its processing capabilities, the Sony ADL slash ADCL OLED is much cheaper. Still, it's also a big step down in brightness and color vibrancy. The Sony N95K OLED is a flagship 4K TV in Sony's 2022 lineup, sitting above the Sony N90K OLED and the Sony A80K slash AECK OLED. It's their first QD OLED TV, which is a type of OLED panel that features new technology to improve on traditional OLED TVs. It's one of the first QD OLED displays available at the consumer level in 2022, alongside the Samsung S95 B OLED. Number four, Sony X93L. If you're looking for the best TV for streaming a bright room, check out the Sony X93L slash X93CL. Unlike our top two picks, this TV is an OLED. As such, it doesn't look nearly as good in a dark room due to more ballooning around bright objects in darker scenes, including around subtitles. However, it looks much better in well-lit rooms thanks to its bright mini LED backlight and excellent reflection handling, making it an excellent choice for a bright viewing environment. It's even bright enough to use outdoors, but isn't weatherproof, so you'll need an appropriate enclosure. It has Sony's legendary image processing capabilities, so streaming content looks its best. 
As far as smart features go, it's identical to the Sony N95K OLED with the same great Google TV interface. There's a huge selection of streaming apps and a remote makes it easy to find your favorite content thanks to its built-in support for different voice assistants. The TV has an okay viewing angle, good enough for a wide scene arrangement. Number three, LG C2 OLED. If you want an OLED but want something a bit more affordable than our top two picks, consider the LG C2 OLED. It uses a WOLED panel, which isn't as bright or as colorful as the QD OLED found in the Samsung S90 C OLED or Sony A95 K OLED. So highlights don't pop as much in HDR and colors aren't as vivid. But the LG offers the same near infinite contrast that OLEDs are known for, making it a fantastic choice in dark rooms. In terms of its smart features, LG's proprietary Weibo S smart platform is excellent as it's easy to use and navigating through it feels smooth. LG's remotes are unique because they have a point and press feature, similar to a Nintendo Wii remote, that lets you easily choose apps and settings in the menu, saving you the hassle of scrolling through everything with a directional pad. The Wino S smart platform also allows customization with different profiles, so you can have a different layout than someone else at home. The LG C2 OLED, the successor to the very popular LG C1 OLED, is a mid-range OLED TV sitting above the LG B2 OLED and below the gallery-style LG G2 OLED in LG's 2022 OLED lineup. The C models tend to be the most popular TVs in LG's OLED lineup as they hit a good balance of high-end features and price and have an included stand unlike the LG G2. OLED TVs like the C2 are self-emissive, meaning unlike LCD panels found on other TVs, there's no backlight, which allows them to display a nearly perfect contrast ratio in dark rooms with deep inky blacks and no distracting bluing or halo effect around bright objects. Like other LG TVs, the C2 uses the Weibo S smart interface, which has been slightly refreshed for 2022, adding user profiles among other minor changes. There's a huge focus on game features this year, including support for GeForce Now, and it's available in a wider range of sizes than previous models, including the first ever 42 inch OLED panel, Number two, Hisense U8K. -K. If you want something cheaper but aren't necessarily on a budget, consider the Hisense U8K. -K. It's a clear step down from the LG C2 OLED regarding picture quality, as it doesn't deliver the same perfect blacks, but it's still an impressive TV that outperforms any other option in its price range. The Hisense runs Google TV as its built-in smart interface, with many apps available to download through the Google Play Store, so you can find your favorite content. Google TV can take some time to learn. Once you do, it's easy to use and navigating the menu feels smooth. It also supports hands-free voice control, which makes it easy to find your favorite content as you can ask it to search the name of your show or open a specific streaming app without even paying up the remote. Regarding picture quality, it gets incredibly bright and has excellent reflection handling, so it can easily overcome glare in a bright room. Its image processing capabilities are also quite good, even if not near what the Sony can do. Unfortunately, it has a narrow viewing angle, so it isn't good for watching shows with a wide seating arrangement as the image degrades as you move off center. Number one, Hisense U6K. If you want to save money, the best budget smart TV we tested is the Hisense U6K. Compared with the Hisense U8K, the main trade off is that it doesn't get as bright, so highlights don't pop as much in HDR, which is normal for a budget friendly model. It also has worse reflection handling, so it's better to use it in a dark room where it displays deep blacks thanks to its full array local dimming feature. Unfortunately, there's some ballooning around bright objects. It upscales content well, has good HDR gradient handling, and is very accurate overall, so it displays most content the way its creator intended. Like the UAK, it runs the Google TV interface, which is very simple to use once you're used to it. It has a great selection of streaming channels. The included remote supports voice control, which is great if you want to find content quickly. The TV even has an integrated microphone for hands-free voice control, which you can turn off with a switch if you're worried about privacy. If you're a Costco member, you might want to consider the Hisense a 65K instead. It's just a bit worse than the U6K, but significantly cheaper. The Hisense U6 slash U6K is a budget-friendly 4K TV. It's the 2023 entry-level model in Hisense's flagship ULED lineup and uses quantum dot technology to display a wider range of colors than traditional TVs. It replaces the Hisense U6 slash U6H and sits below the higher-end Hisense U7K and Hisense U8 slash U8K. 
As it's a budget TV, it lacks some gaming features that Hisense's higher end models have, like AT&I 2.1 bandwidth and a 120 hertz panel, but it supports every VRR technology for a nearly tear-free gaming experience. This is the top six best smart TVs in 2023. Please make sure to subscribe our channel for these kind of information. Thanks for watching.